Sup guys, it's Kendra and Justin and we are back with another episode of Lightkeeper. So previously, how many episodes have we done? Two? Three? Yeah. Two? We already were able to get one of the bad endings, which was honestly, I would say, pretty gruesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty bad. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, go see that, because that's fun. But <laughs> anyway, um, Dustin, I paused him from talking about it, but how many, so we have eight endings? There are three bad endings. Right. Five trait endings. Right. And one true ending. Wait, no, that's nine. Nine! <laughs> There's nine endings then, right? Yes. Trait. Okay. Because uh, what are the episodes? I don't remember if it was the last one or not. When we were trying to find the... I think it was the first one. Because it was when we were trying to find the save menu thing. Oh, yeah. A little it's sprite popped up. Yeah. Under. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I didn't look at it super hard. Items. And yeah. There's items and then there's traits. Yes. Yeah. That I don't know right. what that means in terms of uh, Izzy, but I don't know. Because we've had a couple different choices already and nothing's happened. Like, it's not like we unlocked anything. Yeah. And it let us go back and change our choice if we wanted to. So far. Yeah. So... Yeah, we... I don't think, I think we're not very far into this no, game. No, no. I feel like this is much bigger than I expected, which is fun. I'm excited. So anyway, interesting. Very interesting. Let's continue on in the game. Is this, I always forget. Click? Click. Click. This one. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, because this was before we died. Yeah. So, we died because we went and got the key. But it seems like the candle might be how we're supposed to get it without dying. You think? That or could you also messed up while typing the numbers. And we didn't get to see if oh, the yeah. numbers Oh, were... yeah. I did that on purpose. Kind of. Yeah, no, I did. The other one I didn't do on purpose. <laughs> okay, well... Okay, that gives us two options. Should I try and do it with typing in the stuff? Or should we try and do it with the candle? That's up to you. You're playing the game. I mean, if we type it in and we still die, we die. And that's not that big of a deal. You also then we just hop back in. You also should maybe click the crystal again. So that we have the knowledge that we need to break the crystal. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try and see if I can get out of this alive. Because if not, then I feel like it has to be the candle, right? Take the key. That or the candle lowers the amount of... It, things I have to type in? Yeah. Possibly. We'll try both. Okay. I don't remember. Was it arrow like... Arrow keys. Arrow keys. X and Z. X and Z. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. Pa Okay, <clears throat> after successfully grabbing the key, you've tried to guide any lingering bugs off of it. The silver on the key looked rusted, as if it hadn't been touched in a long, long time. You got a silver key! I don't think we've come across any locked doors, though. No. Hmm. Oh, now we can go downstairs, though. Oh, okay, maybe that's how it works then. We don't have to directly, like, interact with the door. Mm -hmm. What does this silver key look like? Oh, there's no picture. <laughs> okay, save! 
Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder. Should we go back and see if the candle has anything or just keep going? That's up to you. I guess just keep going. Sure. Whoa. The first thing you notice upon properly entering the room was the cool atmosphere clinging to your skin. The darkness surrounding the room wasn't intense and terrifying like you feared, but rather relaxing instead. A bright glow emanated from the tank. A crystal floated in the water, practically beckoning you closer. Wait, th I thought it was a window. This is like an aquarium? Sounds like it. Whoa. What was that one show where the tank dudes would come in and they'd build fancy tanks for people? Mm. Remember that show? I never watched that Remember show. Remember that show? <laughs> I've never seen commercials for that show, but I have Some never kind of that tank show. show, and I'm kind of sad I can't remember the name. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty cool. How do you have a tank in a lighthouse? I mean, you just need empty space. I mean, I guess, but it's a lighthouse. They're pretty direct, you know? It's a spiral staircase up to the top. If. You only have the tower part of the lighthouse. That's if what you I have always picture. If you have the house part of the lighthouse. Yeah, but aren't we in the tower? We were in the tower, but we're on the first floor. Or no, we're on negative one. Oh, basement! Oh, <laughs> basement aquarium. Oh, maybe. What if it's kind of like cool zoos where like you can see into the, the pier or something? <laughs> So oh. now this is like where the ocean is. Though considering we're probably gonna have to get that crystal, I might actually prefer a tank. <laughs> hmm, interesting. This crystal felt more allur alluring, alluring. How do you say it? Alluring. Alluring than anything else you had seen in the lighthouse so far. Was well, this the first one that's glowing? So I don't think the uh, other one was glowing, I right? think it's the first one that's being described as glowing. Ooh. How am I supposed to get that out? What is this? Looks like a hammer. A weapon of great power lied before you. Its aura was intense, making you feel the weight of it before you even picked it up. The cool metal stung against your skin. You had a feeling this sort of weapon didn't take too kindly to strangers. I'm ever so sorry, but I may need your help. Forgive me. You got a hammer. I'm not gonna break the aquarium! It looks like there's a little octopus dude right there. I'm not gonna hurt him. There's a little fish there. Yeah, too. there's a little fish right there! Nope. Nope. Though nope, the little nope. spikes along the bottom makes me think, is this a mouth? Oh, that's. I didn't even notice that. <gasps> like an angler fish? Yeah. Ooh, that would be cool. Because I think there's also one spike up at the top. Yeah, and here? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, that's totally what it is. Well, now I want to do it just to see. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, but I feel like that's obviously, like, the obvious thing. You, you know what I mean? I mean, you could try. And if I'm it gives us kinda, but at end. first I kinda wanna look at the, the hammer. <laughs> I wish it had a little sprites, or like a little yeah. icon. Hmm. Also looks like it would continue going down. Oh, I was going to say, I don't understand how, what else, what other options. What to do, what to do. Did I save after getting the key? Yes. Okay, good. So, I guess why not break it? Let's see what happens. Okay. I mean, I'm going to collect all the endings anyway. Might as well go as we move along through the story, right? Okay. Here we go! For a brief moment, you contemplating the consequences of you smash if you smash the glass with the hammer. No, no, not only would that kill all of the fish inside, it would cause a catastrophic flood. Not to mention, it would definitely be enough chaos to draw suspicion. 
I found out. I'd be found out and locked away immediately. I'm certain of it. You looked again towards the glass. Oh, <gasps> do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> Twist my arm, why don't you? Smash! <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. You protested, trying to shake off this intense urge to break the glass. <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> you looked down at the hammers and back up in the tank. The gem glistened in the water, reflecting beautifully, wait, reflecting beautiful light throughout the room. You pondered the consequences once more. Breaking the glass would cause the room to flood, and it would definitely attract attention. But, then again, that could work in your favor. If you grabbed the crystal and ran far from this room, you certainly you were fairly certain you wouldn't get caught among the confusion and panic it would make wait, it would take to mend the catastrophe. The lives of the aquatic creatures, however, weighed a bit heavier on your soul. Do it! <laughs> an intense instinct shot through your body like an arrow to the chest. What were you doing, you wondered? You realized your life was on the line and you felt vindicated under the assumption that your life was worth more than a few fish you were going to outlive regardless. You realized there is no guarantee they'd die if the room was flooded regardless. There will be water on the floor. I mean, okay. <laughs> a loud shatter echoed throughout the room. Consequently, followed by the intense rupture of water flowing out of the tank. Another crash into the glass. Then another. Water spouted out rapidly, soaking your feet in the hem of your dress. You saw the glimmering light of the crystal fall through the hole in the glass, but you managed to catch it before it collided with the floor. My apologies. I'm afraid dire times require dire actions. This room served no further use to you. You were you turned on your heel and escaped the flooding room. You got a crystal. Oh, what? You gained the trait misguided. Ooh. Well, I very much think that that means we're going to get a bad ending, but I thought we were going to get eaten. No, we would get a trait ending. Well, yeah, but a bad trait. Misguided isn't a good trait. I think all the trait endings are probably not considered good or bad. You think so? What about like happy being o optimistic, perhaps? Would be <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh. Can we not go downstairs <gasps> anymore, though? Oh. Uh... To your surprise, this door didn't lead to the aquarium anymore. What is this, like a Willy Wonka factory? I don't understand. It was another. Was this another safety feature of the lighthouse? Regardless, you stepped through the door. Anything to keep moving forward. I was I was gonna try to use the hammer on the other crystal, but okay. <clears throat> you attempted to get an idea of your surroundings, but the only thing you could make note of was the floor being made of wood due to the sound of its floorboards with your every step. <laughs> do you wanna do this? You're great. Crick. Crick. Why did that kind of sound like a frog? <laughs> you paused a moment, reaching your hands out to try and feel any furniture that may be around. <gasps> I have an idea! Crack. The floorboards cried out. The only problem? You didn't make... <gasps> Not scary. <laughs> you know how there's like little things in horror movies that like do it for people? <laughs> for me, like sounds that indicate somebody's there that's not supposed to be there is like freaky. I don't know why, but that like gets to me. I'm like, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> you didn't make a step to cause the noise this time. I don't have any other options! 
Bye! <laughs> it's far too risky to go further into the darkness like this. I should find a source of light before proceeding. See, that's where my head was already at. I already got you, Izzy. Alright, first... I was expecting us to die, so let me save real quick. Okay. And now we need to get the candle. Did you want to try to smash the like, glass? Good point. Let's do it. The glass case glim glints in the dim light. It feels perfect and serene. A shame you have to bash it into smithereens. Don't break it yet. Break the glass. I mean, why not, right? Mm. Break it. We are misguided. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to every bad idea. <laughs> uh, the glass shatters upon impact with countless shards decorating the floor beneath you. We act before thinking. <laughs> <laughs> with careful hands, you pried the crystal out of the casing. There we go. I'm terribly sorry, but there wasn't any time to find another solution. You got a crystal. You got me. Okay. Wait, did I check to see what the crystals... Is it... It's probably just... Yeah. Magic crystal one. And magic crystal two. We need three, right? Yeah. I wonder how many traits you can get at once. Mm. Mm. Alright. Oh, wait, is it out? Okay. Whoo! <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> the flame! The candle's light flickers, being one of the only senses of warmth and light with filling the room. Seeing as you're powerless, keeping a light source close by you may prove useful. Do you want to take the candle with you? Yes! I'm not thinking, I'm just doing. Clutching the candle holder tightly, you feel the slimmest sense of comfort, being able to see more of your surroundings. You got a candlestick. Me and Lumiere are about to go and see about this haunted room. You jiggle the handle of the door, fully expecting it to be. Oh, okay. Does it? Do I have to click through this the entire time? No. Usually, you just use the. Oh. Arrow. I mean, does it matter? I don't think so. Maybe it mattered. <laughs> uh, what? Is this... I don't remember this. Did we not go out the door last no, time? No, we did. Not the second time we went up. What is this lighthouse? Because we used the arrow keys before. But we did go out previously. Well, we went out through we, the door. The first time we yeah. went through the door, yes. And it took us to the the bug. Yeah. Okay. You notice a crack in the wall, starting from the floor and climbing its way up the wall. Upon closer inspection, you notice a few. Oh wait, is this different? Upon closer inspection, you notice a few instinct insects <laughs> instincts trying to hide inside of the crack. Uh... uh oh! It just Something didn't load. <laughs> Alright, down! Boop! Boop! Whoa! You held up the candle, which barely lit the dark room around you. There didn't appear to be much in this room at first glance. However, upon further inspection, you notice a hatch door on the floor. Just what could this lead to? Wait, but I thought there was someone else in here. Or is it somebody going through the hatch? Mm. Hmm. Inside, 
Anyway, inside you find something most unusual for items in drawers. A variety of old books of varying subjects. The most common thing among them seems to be their importance to other kingdoms. You eventually find one pertaining to the history of religion and folklore among the kingdom of... Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Lumian. Lumian. You noticed a specific page bookmark. I mean, I guess, because we're doing stuff without thinking about it, so. Chapter, is this 10? Probably. Chapter 10, The Royal Family. Ugh, the Lux, I guess. Lux? Yeah. Okay. Lux lineage falls down from a direct line to the divine, the almighty light which guises all. Is this kind of like a Zelda situation then? Sounds like. It's said that the light blessed the king with their own power once long ago, and that powerful energy has been passed down throughout generations since then. These blessed individuals aim to rule over all of Lumion mm -hmm. with kindness and compassion, being most well known for their uncanny healing abilities and other profici proficiencies in magic. Okay, so far, so good. Each ruler has brought a new form of prosperity among the kingdom. And as the family tree grows, so will the light surrounding the world. You look through the pages, which all of which seem to be a description of past rulers with their images next to them. Whoever wrote this book seemed to view the family in high regards. The amount of praise was so overwhelming, it felt like you were reading a performance piece from a bard rather than a historical record. Any criticisms addressed in regards to the royal family were quickly... Oh, denounced. in regards... I, I read that wrong. Addressed in regards to the royal family were quickly denounced by this author with much vigor. Skimming through the pages, you stopped once you spotted something familiar. Yourself. Ooh, wow, this is a new book then. <laughs> <laughs> you knew this book must have been... Yeah, wait, <laughs> this is wrong, right? New? New. Yeah. yeah that's funny. <laughs> new, based on the fresh smell of the paper. However, you never expected it to be new enough to include your likeness. It's the wrong new. Strangely enough, the corner of your page was dog-eared in the book. Perhaps your captor needed a visual reference for you for your kidnapping. Or maybe they have a crush on me. <laughs> Princess Elizabeth Lux. Is it though? Uh, dang it. Princess Elizabeth Lux. The merciful mother of light. Aren't I like relatively young? Why am I a mother of light? I mean, I'm guessing it goes with the... It's just like a title? Yeah. Hmm. I look nice. I did the the uh, portrait. It's an interesting choice, having me with my eyes closed. But I like it. It looks peaceful. Princess Elizabeth... Elizabeth? Yeah. Uh, shows kindness to all of the kingdom, rich or poor, young or old. Our princess has sworn to take care of everyone who steps foot in Lumion, no matter the cost. She has spent much of her life thus far. Oh, it's a space. Far dedicated. <laughs> I was like, what is that word? <laughs> far. Thus far dedicated to studying ancient texts regarding the divine. It is truly the most in tune with our beloved light. The power she possesses is holier than any recorded uh, in a ruler thus far. Whoa. So we like powerful. Or well studied. Ah, true. I mean, in knowledge is power. No, in knowledge is power. Blah, blah. Especially <laughs> with magic. Yeah. Yeah. No matter the cost. Oh, what does that mean? You close the book. Once closed, you notice something peculiar on the back of the cover. 
There you read the number 24 in small letters. Like the 24th edition? That or it's some sort of code. code. We a spot to put in yet. Well, that is where we are going to end today's episode. So many questions. I like it, though. I like piecing together things. It's quite exciting. One, we learned that, like, uh, it is not an anglerfish, and I'm slightly sad about that. But it's clear that we have already decided to go off onto a branch. A hundred percent. Now, how far that branch goes, I have no idea. <laughs> this game may be a lot longer than I was anticipating, which I'm not mad about at all. <laughs> but, uh, two... Clearly something's up with Izzy. The whole no matter the cost thing mm. is suspicious. Because it has a very negative connotation to it. At least the way I read it. I'm partially thinking we are here by choice. We just don't remember that. Oh. Ah, so you're sticking to your uh, the notebook. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Um, but the way she said it, at least in my mind, made it seem like she knew what she was talking about. Yes, but they specifically call out that the light is used to heal people. Mm -hmm. And yet, and the one descriptor of the dragon lady was scarred. heavily scarred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting because I feel like even when we revealed the painting, and correct me if I'm wrong, but why is she scarred? Mm. We don't know, right? Yeah. Like, uh, nothing about this, this area, I think, has been revealed. So I'm a little confused if this, like, almighty, powerful group of people exist. Why is there a dragon lady who seems to be, like, a bad guy? But is it a different dimension or something like that like it didn't seem like we were in the same area that lumian is in so that's a little confusing and three we've learned that it does definitely seem like we were chosen we're selected to be here by someone who maybe is not a bad guy at least whoever if they wrote the book they definitely like me no, the, the the dog earring of a book would imply that they didn't write the book. Well, I was thinking they didn't because it said our princess. Yeah. And it's... I'm like, this isn't Lumion, so why would it be our princess? No, I'm guessing is that some this heavily scarred dragon lady... Wants us to heal her? Heard about this princess who's super well-versed with healing uh -huh. and is... Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see where it goes, but I'm excited. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are excited because I definitely am. There's so many endings and it's going to be fantastic. But if you guys want to try your hand at playing Lightkeeper, there's a link in the description below. Check it out. Show the game creator some love. Once again, this is by uh, Smile Straw Bunny. I wanted to say like our friend but then i also have to remind myself that like they're not our friend <laughs> i just really enjoy their stuff but I go show them some love uh it's a great game so far and which is like i'm surprised because i thought this was made for like um a, a competition which normally isn't like too long you know but so far it seems like there's a lot there's a lot to this. We also just are very slow at doing that. That is true. <laughs> I talk a lot. But anyway, yeah, check it out. Highly recommend. If you have any theories or interesting tidbits to add, you can comment down below. All we ask is obviously no spoilers. If you want to come and talk to Dustin and I live, you can always come to our streams on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, except this week if you're watching this as it comes out wednesday we will not be streaming but if you're watching this in some other point of time 
don't worry, it has nothing to do with you. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you come say hi. Uh, check out what we're streaming. If live streaming is not your thing, don't worry. We always upload our VODs over to YouTube where you are now, so you can always watch them then or catch up before coming and seeing us. Um, uh, besides that, you should just check out the other games we also have available. In the meantime, we have four four other games by Smile Strawberry. I always you have to just say double check. go to the Smile Strawberry playlist. You don't need to <laughs> individually. You, you could do that too, <laughs> I suppose. If you want to be uh, boring, you can. <laughs> you're the one who keeps saying that. You're, I do that talk a lot. Your out, your outros are getting longer. <laughs> but check those out. They are just as good. Of, um, different universes, two separate universes. There's two and two, but. Uh, just as good nonetheless uh but we have a number of cute spooky thriller-esque games so if you want a sneak peek of the different games we have available you can always go to our tiktok youtube shorts or instagram reels but yeah i think that's everything yeah sweet like comment subscribe do whatever you feel like doing unless it is kidnapping a princess and i will see you guys in the next episode Bye bye